Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to make a simple recipe that you will absolutely adore. This is a really good one if your kids like sweets and you want to have something healthy for them, it gives them a really great option. We're going to make raw chocolate and then you can mix it up and make it personal by adding the flavourings that you choose. So starting with the absolute basics, our Optimum 9900 blender and our four blade jug, all we need to do is throw in there some cacao powder. Now remember with all of the YouTube videos, go down down below into the details and you'll be able to actually print the recipe straight from there. We're going to pop it in that this is the ingredient, the key ingredient here. See this nice liquidy stuff that we've got here? This is cacao butter. So this is the oil straight from the cacao bean. It, it tastes absolutely amazing, like that bittersweet chocolate flavour. But it's really important to understand how to melt it. Cacao butter melts um, at a temperature of about, let me double check, 36, 37 degrees C. And it's really important that you don't heat it over 40 degrees C if you want to create real raw chocolate. So what you can do is turn the stove on low, sit it on the pan and watch it using a candy thermometer to make sure that you don't overheat it. Or even easier, what I've done today is I popped it in my dehydrator. My dehydrator set at about 110 degrees. A Fahrenheit so underneath the temperature that I need and just sat it in there until it was melted so now we can pour the cacao butter straight in with the cacao powder um, into our optimum blender there it does uh, it is a little bit of a harder one than coconut oil to melt we've got our coconut nectar in there so pop that in and again it's your choice of sweetener you could use your con syrup you could use the maple syrup not raw you could use agave nectar not recommended um, I'm gonna pop a pinch of the, the sea salt in there it's surprising how much that saltiness will bring out the flavor for you and then last but not least some vanilla extract now if you wanted to at this point you have so many options a little bit of orange zest could go in there a few mint leaves or some mint essence could go in there but today we're just going to make the absolute basic raw chocolate so pop it safely on the cushion ensure that it's in place plop the lid straight on top making sure that the lid is firmly attached and you can pop the tamper in Ooh. You can pop the tamper in or you can pop the lid plug on. I'm going to start with the lid plug because we probably won't need to use the tamper. On low, turn it on, give it a go. Just a couple of seconds until it's thoroughly mixed. That is how simple it is to make raw chocolate. Isn't that easy? You can see from the top, look at those little four wells in the top of your blender jug there where you can see it's mixed and drawn through properly. Look at that, nice thick and, shall I taste it? I always do. Nice thick and tasty chocolate, mm, beautiful. Now remembering if you want more bittersweet chocolate, use a little bit less agave syrup or coconut nectar or yacon or maple, whichever syrup that you're using. Um, if you want a little bit more sweet, you can add a little bit more. You could even add a few drops of stevia in there if you like a little bit more sweetness. We're going to make these into cute little almond mould chocolates. Personally, my preference would be goji berries, but unfortunately, somehow my kitchen has run out of goji berries. Goji berries are actually great for your health, a great thing to add to chocolate. They're a complete protein, rich in vitamin C. Now what I'm doing here is using the leftover coca cacao butter from the bowl and just on a little bit of paper towel I am greasing the mould. So we'll grease the mould of these, now I got these at Ikea but you can use chocolate moulds or ice cube trays or you can even make a bar if you like, it's completely up to you but I think these are so cute. A little bit of cacao butter into the bottom of each of these little love hearts, probably I should have done this before because you can all figure out how to do this one at home. Now um, I'm going to just do a few actually the way that they are and then I think I will pop off screen and grab some mint essence and do a couple of mint ones. So the first tray we're going to pop one or two almonds into the bottom of each of these little holes. I don't know how many we're going to get out of here today. And then I'm just going to scoop a dollop straight on the top, covering them up completely. So if you give me a sec, I'll finish these up and you can have a look in a minute. 
Well, I've finished. What I've done is I've put the almonds in the bottom of this tray, just one or two in each individual little love heart mold. Now, almonds are great, kind of an oxymoron because a high fat food that's good for your health sounds a little bit funny, but these are an alkaline food. Most people think they're a nut, but they're actually a seed from the fruit of the almond tree. And not only are they alkaline, they've been linked with heart health. So really, really good for you. In the other one, I snuck a little bit of mint essence into the leftover chocolate blend, and I'm gonna finish those ones off by pressing a tiny little bit of coconut into each of them so they look a little bit different we'll be able to tell them apart once they've been set so popping that on there now what I'm going to encourage you guys to do is go all the way down the bottom and make a comment telling me what you think the best combination of ingredients would be in this raw chocolate personally I think we'd like some goji berries and coconut That'd be one for me. But what are your ideas? Make a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fruity TV channel. And if you haven't got your optimal blender, go down to the details below and click on the link to the Fruity site closest to you. Chat soon. Ciao for now.